This video is on Pinus contorta, lodgepole pine, and Pinaceae, the pine family. Contorta means twisted, and the cone scale shape is flat. So this is a pine species native across the west. It's pretty widespread up there in western Canada and down into the Rocky Mountains, I and mean, along the coast as well. It's a really common tree out west. Those trees along the Pacific coast, we call those shore pine, um, Pinus contorta, variety contorta, a much shorter tree in stature with a twisted habit as opposed to some of those inland varieties, the same species that grow really tall and straight. And a lot of those inland varieties are fire adapted with serotonous cones that require fire to open. This species has been recently killed a lot by the mountain pine beetle. And the wood is used for pulp, lumber, railroad ties, and poles. So to identify this tree, we'll start with the needles. The needles are really short. We actually have a few dried ones here in the lab in the cone um, collection. There's a few needles in there. And you can see just how short they are, twisted in fascicles of two, quite similar to Virginia pine here in the east. They're closely related, those two species are. So look for those short needles, bundles of two, twisted. You can see how twisted they are from these paintings. The bark is pretty smooth and gray. It can get a little furrowed though. It really depends on the variety and where you are. The cones are pretty distinct though, and probably the most important thing for ID in this class. They're really small, um, no more than an inch and a half, two inches long max. And the most obvious thing about these is that they are lopsided, so the point of attachment to the branch is not directly on top. It's more off to the side, so the cones sit kind of recurved along the branch, like in this painting you can see on those asymmetrical cones. That lopsided point of attachment, you can see it's not directly on top. So they usually curve to one side like that. Really small cones. Here's an unopened one. And we can really see that contorted shape where it attached to the branch right here. So it sits right along the branch like that. Recurved, often pointing backwards along the branch. So look for those lopsided cones. Remember, two needles per, per, per fascicle. Really short, quite similar to Virginia pine needles. 